Heavenly Father and Christ Jesus, Father, we thank and give your name glory. Thank you for loving us. Send thy Holy Ghost in our midst, Lord, to guide us and lead us into the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give, give God glory. Walked upon the sea, raised the dead, prayed in majesty, mighty God. Everything routine about you is great. A topic today. There is no situation too great, too difficult that the Lord can also. Say this situation. This situation. So difficult. Is the reason why God is God. This is the reason why God is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But listen. If you want a good calculation. Go back to the beginning. Genesis. Chapter 1. Verse 1 to 7. God. Did not start with the easy situation. Katonda, te yatandi kanambera nyangu. What you think is not what was there. Cholo waza, iwe chali. God started with this difficult situation. Katonda yatandi kanambera no enzibu. And from this difficult situation, erokuva mumbera no enzibu. Solution is appeared. Ebi okugonjo la nebi rabika. Whatever is before you as difficult is just a package brought and put before you. You have no problem. Listen proper. Have faith in God. Who was there in the beginning? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. The Bible told us, Bible gamba, and it is telling us gamba, that the world was void. Tabude, tabude. Not confused, but void. Tabude, tabude. When you want to dig gold, you want to dig gold. You cannot just find it anywhere on the surface. You may find it mixed with soil, with clay, oh, with everything. So God will bring everything, clay, soil, stones, and make a mountain. And within the mountain, that is where you find gold. So this situation now before you is a hipped package from God waiting for you. 
So the whole heaven's world was mixed up. Kale gulu lyo na ensi yo na byo na byali byetabudde tabudde. The darkness was on the deep. Echizikiza chali chitudde ku ngulu kubuziba. Like your situation you say. Ngembera yo joga mbanti. I don't know. Simanyi. I'm in a total darkness. I've been looking for job for seven years. Darkness was on the deep. Darkness is on the deep of your situation. Whereas inside there is light. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then God said, Let down be light. And there was light. From all whatever was heaped, light was inclusive. Don't despise your situation. There is something different you have never found out. Don't abuse the situation. But listen. <laughs> I'm reading Genesis 1. Verse 26. Then God said. Let us make man in our own image. According to our likeness. And let them have dominion. Over the fish of the sea. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female. He created them. What is the image? In his imagination. What if Kakande will be walking? What if Kakande will be walking? Can he walk with one leg? No. Let me give him another leg. That he may walk like this. And this is the way he I'm here to believe God the Father. What he did in the beginning. He created me in his own imagination that I too may imagine the way he imagined let there be light and there was light let there be a house and there will be a house thank you thank you Jesus as the day summon is, there is no situation too great, too difficult that the Lord cannot solve. Be blessed as you behold Mr. Mujunyu Eric Ruguru having come to the solution ground with a heaped mountain of pain, inability, and lameness. This is all because he fractured the left tibia bone during an accident, has given crutches for support in his movement, but all in vain. Let us view in his explanation how all this came about. Nampari and Pam Sachia Sola Jambara, or what the Bunu Mazeko Mizigumu, and we had Baroid Ride Ekakasova de Wange. You can now witness his medical report from Mulago Hospital, proving that medical doctors have examined him and discovered that he fractured the left tibia bone during an accident. He was therefore given crutches for support because of the pain. Witness how Prophet Samuel Kakande is going to turn his mountain of pain into a forgotten story in Jesus' name. Brother Eric, Mommy Eric is right before the man of God. He fractured the left tibia bone. It is his time to be healed. 
Thank you, Jesus. Step by step. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. With evidence of the working of Jesus Christ in our midst, once Brother Mushunyi Eric stood before the anointed servant of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, his heaped mountain of pain and lameness was turned into a great testimony, as we may behold, his coming back to testify with freedom and triumph over lameness in Jesus' name. My name is Ruguru Eric Mujenyi. Ngamviri dende je mcha dondo. From unde je cha dondo. Nadja wano. I came here. Ngani muluade. I was sick. Ngasowa la kutambu la kuluangi. I could not walk without support. Na ye. Ngani ne migojino. I had these two crutches. Ngaje jimpa nilo kutambu la. Which I was using to support to be able to move. Ngaje uzivu wenafuna. The problem that I got. I got a, a road traffic accident involving a motorcycle and a car. Then I got a fracture of my left leg. This is the left leg which got injured in that accident. When I got the accident, I was taken to Mulago Hospital. The doctors did x-rays. They the doctors checked me by use of x-rays and they found that I got a fracture of my tibia bone. They told me that they were to operate upon me. I was taken to the theater. For an operation, they inserted metal plates. But I was experiencing so much pain. I could not walk without support. I was using support of these two crutches. For a period of one month. These are the medical reports that show that surely I was there in, in Mulago Hospital. And these are the X-ray films that show how I was operated upon and metal plates were inserted. On the screens before you is an X-ray image belonging to our brother Luguru Eric on sustaining the road traffic accident, the doctors in Mulago carried out this x-ray. And these were the findings. As brethren, as you can clearly see, this is the fracture site. And it shows that the tibia bone had fragmented after the accident. And this was the cause of the severe pain and inability to walk of our brother. And brethren, as our brothers narrated, after the doctors diagnosed him of this fracture, he was taken to theater for bone plating in which the different bone fragments were realigned together. And this image clearly shows that they used um, metal screws to realign the bone fragments of the tibia bone. And brethren, on the screen before you is a medical report from Lago Hospital belonging to our brother Luguru Eric. So while at the hospital, the doctors carried out various investigations, including lab investigations and an X-ray. And they diagnosed him with a left tibial plateau fracture. fracture. So the doctors recommended bone plating, as you saw in the X-ray image. And he was given various medication, including epicephin as an antibiotic cover and tramadol and pethidine as painkillers. 
And all this was before the prayers by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Also, we want to look at the doctor. After the doctor is treating me, still I continued experiencing severe pain. I could not take myself to squat on the toilet. I could not sit. I could not put on trousers that you see me dressed in. Even for a mere cloth. Whenever I would put it on my body, I would feel it it's so heavy like a tonnage on my body. I came to the synagogue church. He prayed for me. By the time he finished praying for me, I threw down the crutches on that day. From that time, I became free. The person who couldn't squat, now I can squat. The person who could not squat, now I can squat. Now I can walk. But I can lie down comfortably. I can even roll over. Clap for Jesus, the wonderful healer. Previously, I had dreams. I had bad dreams of snakes chasing me. I would get dreams of spiritual women at night. When I would get out, I would get a problem. I thank Jesus Christ. I thank man of God for praying for me and I was healed and delivered. Glory and honor back to Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus. Yesu, ye ya kuwa mani, okulinya kunja.